Hi guys, how's it going? Brian from Brian Boas here. True red tail boas from Guiana are in many ways similar to the form from Suriname, but in many other ways distinctly different. Today I want to show you a pair of Guiana true red tail boas that I'm working with here at Brian Boas, as well as comment on the outlook for hopefully some babies from this pair in the not too distant future. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos on keeping and breeding boas in captivity, as well as updates on my boa constrictor breeding activities. So first of all, it seems like the most commonly asked question in the world of locality boas is what is the difference between Guiana and Suriname true red tail boas, or is there even a difference? And I actually did a video on this very topic entitled Guiana versus Suriname red tail boas. Is there a difference a few months ago? So if you haven't watched that yet, I definitely check, I definitely recommend that you check that one out if you're interested in knowing what the possible difference are between these two different localities of true red tail boas. So I'll just say, you know, basically it depends on how you define difference and you know, what you're looking for in your locality boa project. But I'll also say that for th this particular Guiana pair, in my opinion, it is different from my Suriname projects. And I have a lot of stuff going on with Surinams. I have a very diverse breeding group of quite a number of different animals from different bloodlines that I'm breeding together. With my Guiana project, I just have a single pair. And so I decided because of my limited resources and you know time to devote to my snakes, I'd rather just have a lot of Surinams. And this didn't just limit my Guiana group to this one pair. And I think that this Guiana uh, pair that I have are distinctly different from my Suriname boas. They definitely have a different look. These are a pair that was bred by Mike Eckert and they were born back in 2012 and a buddy of mine acquired the whole litter and I was able to get this pair. So I want to show you the pair right now. So this is my female Guiana True Red Tail. She's one of my larger snakes. She's probably close to eight feet long. Um, she is born in 2012, so she's about eight years old. And I find her to be distinctly different from the Surinams that I have. Um, just her overall look is different. She's got a lot of more purplish. She's got these really nicely peaked saddles. Um, she's got this beautiful pinkish purplish blushing to her sides. And then just kind of an overall wild look. She, you know, she doesn't look too clean. She's got a lot of markings between her saddles. Um, she's not my most mellow or tame boa. You can see she's kind of getting a little bit rigid, which is a sign that a boa is not very comfortable. And I have received a few bites from her before, which have been, you know, they've drawn a little bit of blood. So hopefully she'll behave herself today. Um, she's got a lot of cool eyelash markings on her head, um, a lot of speckling on her belly. And just overall, this kind of wildish look, you know, nicely peaked saddles, but they're not completely symmetrical. And then her tail, interestingly, is quite short. She doesn't have a lot of uh, color in her tail. In fact, she mostly has color on the bottom of her tail. And you can see her she only has uh, about five or six tail saddles. And the, rather than being a bright red, they're kind of more of a maroonish red color. So this animal was produced by Mike Eckerd and he had two bloodlines of Guiana he was working with. He had his uh, golden Guiana and his uh, purple Guiana. And this was from a pairing of the golden times the purple, cross with the purple. So she's my female, um, very, you know, beautiful looking animal. I'm gonna just gonna put her back because she's probably had about enough of being handled. And here's my male Guiana True Red Tail Boa. This guy is probably about a foot or so shorter than the female, maybe six and a half feet or so. And you can see he has this beautiful darkish coloration. Just a very wild looking boa with a lot of inter saddle markings and splotches and freckles. Just take a look at how many speckled, how, how speckled his belly is 
just a cool, you know, what I call the dirty look. Also a lot of head markings. His tail is actually quite a bit longer than the females, but rather than having bright red tail saddles, you can see he's got this dark maroonish brick red color. And then his saddles themselves are also kind of uh, tinted with that maroonish color. They're kind of a dark brownish maroonish with this, you know, nicely peaked saddles, kind of a wildish look, and then really pronounced eyelash markings on his eyes. Just a really cool wild looking boa, if you like the wild look. And you know, by the wild look, I mean what you might imagine to see in an animal that you encounter in the Amazon rainforest. Because I've seen a lot of people breeding these two red tails that are just so clean, there's like no markings at all, and they almost look like somebody went and kind of whitewashed them and you know took out all of the markings. Um, just a very, very clean boa. This, this is kind of the opposite. This is a very wild looking boa with a lot of these markings. I bred these Guiana boas twice. The first time was in 2017 and then I had another litter back in 2019. Uh, both times it was a real small litter. I just had three babies. You know, beautiful looking babies. Not entirely sure why I just didn't get so many of them because the animals seem to be good, you know, good size and in good shape for breeding but you know maybe that's just how it is sometimes you just get a smaller litter um, so I probably will pair them up again next year and we'll have to see how it goes but hopefully in you know towards the fall of 2021 I might have another litter of these Guiana boas and um, I've seen a lot of Guiana boas out there that look very similar to my Suriname boas. But what I like about these is that they are distinctly different and they don't look like any Suriname boas that I've seen. Um, again, I, whether or not Guiana and Suriname boas are the same thing or different depends on a lot of things and I would refer you to my video on that uh, for that discussion. But I do consider these guys to be distinctly different. And thus, I'm going to, you know, not cross them with my Surinams. Just keep this as a separate project. I thought about getting some more Guiana boas of similar appearance. I actually haven't seen any. Most of them tend to look more like the Surinams. Um, I might at some point add some more animals to my breeding group if I can find, you know, suitable looking animals. But for now, I just have this one pair of Guianas. So those are my Guiana boas. I hope this was helpful and you, you know, enjoy looking at these boas. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a message. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.